Well, here we are at Goolwa, and this is Rod Muller's Suzuki Alto, and uh, I'll let uh, Rod give you a little bit of a spiel. Thanks, Rod. Hi. Um, this is a 1988 Suzuki Alto. It was a three-cylinder, about 850cc internal combustion engine car. Um, it was converted uh, a few years ago into a 48-volt um, E-Tech motor, yes, oh, I forgot the name, um, which is bolted straight up to the bell housing uh, with an adapter plate and the pressure plate and the clutch plate and the flywheel are attached to the motor shaft. Uh, it's got an all tracks controller. Um, <coughs> it runs six 8 volt batteries to give it the 48 volts. Um, it's been approved by the government to run on the road as an electric car. It will do about 72 kilometres an hour total chat. Uh, really only designed for 50 kilometres an hour because that's the speed limit around Goolwa. Um, originally it had about a 50, 60 kilometre range, but the batteries are into their, oh, I think end of their third year or getting into their fourth year or something. So they are starting to get a bit tired and, and will need replacing, but uh, seeing as it hasn't had any petrol since that time. So, um, I haven't had to buy petrol for it, it's really quite cheap. Um, this car has still got a 12 volt system and the 12 volt battery supplies power to the, the wipers and the brake lights and the headlights and all sorts of things like that. The, the, the other component is a big solenoid which is, switches the 48 volts on and off and that is overridden by the 12 volt system in the fact that you have a little relay that switches that solenoid off so if your 12 volt battery is flat the car won't go and the reason then that stops you driving the car without having brake lights or indicators or things like that. That's the controller, that's the throttle um, the motor has got a blower on the end of it which helps it keep it cool and keep it clean. Um, that is not so much a problem now. In the early days it was because it was when it was in the Suzuki Swift it was heavier and the motor was a bit stressed but now it just runs cold anyway. But it's good to keep the air running through it to clear any dust and stuff out of it. Very quiet. Just the rattle. No problems. Going up the hill, second gear. Second gear, down the hill. 